so in our previous lesson we talked about who a product designer is and also defined what product design is we said product design is described as the process of imagining creating and iterating products that solve user problems or address specific needs in a given market so no matter the market you find yourself in so long your product can solve user problems you are a product designer so today what we're talking about is the stage of product design Product design has different stages you are going to pass through. No matter the products you are going to create, no matter what you are trying to uh, make, be you a carpenter, be you a, a fashion designer, a teacher, whatsoever you are, whatsoever profession you find yourself, you have to go through some processes to create. So the first stage we have the defin a definition of problem. During the stage of definition of problem, the designer takes time to find the problem. He defines the problem that uh, he can observe or he can see around the um, environment. And the next stage we have pre-ideation. During this pre-ideation stage, uh, you find solutions to existing problems that you found already. You found a problem, so you're going to find uh, solutions to these problems. And all right, the next stage here is the user research stage. And during the user research, uh, the product designer goes to the intent user of the product, asks them some questions. It could be through surveys. It could be through uh, question and answer. It could give them a, a form to fill, things like that. There are a lot of uh, methods of getting uh, information from your intent users. So why is it important to conduct a user research? Now it's important because it helps the product designer know the uh, the problems that the intent users are going through and how it can solve their problem. Product design is a user-centered design, it means that whatsoever you are producing, whatsoever you are designing, should so should be able to solve your user's problem. You're not just producing to produce uh, new uh, machines, new products uh, for fun, no, you're producing to solve users' problem. The concept development process is all about the building phase, the building processes, how the product is going to look like after the des product designer has gotten the information, the useful information from the users that is during the user research he's going to use different means of collecting information from the users and after collecting the information from users it comes back to the office comes back to the workshop and starts the building process so the next stage is the prototyping stage um, many of us have heard about prototype what is a prototype so a prototype is a version of a design that is used to test and evaluate its design's functionality and its ability before it is fully developed and manufactured okay moving forward um, we'll talk about what a prototype helps the designers do um, so the first thing that comes to mind is it allows designers to gather feedback to make improvements and ensure that the final product meets the needs and expectation of the users there are types of prototypes we have the paper prototype and this involves creating low fidelity prototype using sketch or printed design on paper and also the next one we have wireframe prototype it is a basic visual representation of the product okay then the next one we have the interactive prototype interactive prototype this type of prototype allows users to interact with a digital or physical model of the product then we have the functional prototype functional prototype it is a working model of the product that closely resembles the final version okay and it's showing its core features and functionality then the last one we have the physical prototype this involves creating a um, you know a tangible model of the product all right this is all we have for this class in the next class we're talking about the five phase of design thinking stay tuned